Good evening. A botched murder case has exposed big problems in police ranks with an elite unit hit by damning criticism. The Corruption and Crime Commission blasted the major crime squad over the investigation. And it didn't stop there. The Commission says the case cast doubts on police ability to investigate any serious crime. Brutally bashed in an unprovoked attack. Five years later, the killing of Josh Warnocky has exposed systemic failures in our police force. This is the most serious uh, report with the most serious of findings. It's talking about systemic failures, officers that haven't been properly trained to do their job. The corruption watchdog says mistakes in the Warnocky case reveal a deeper malaise and weaknesses that could compromise every criminal investigation in WA. I think that this case is by no means unique. I think there, in any given year you will see a lot of cases that uh, uh, expose uh, poor police uh, behaviour. Josh Warnicke's case is already subject to an internal police review. Aboriginal man Jean Gibson was jailed for seven years for manslaughter. He speaks basic English and didn't have an interpreter. The Triple C report exposes a series of flawed police interviews with Gibson. The report found one of the detectives who questioned him had no professional experience with Aboriginal people and even described the interview process as a dog's breakfast. Another man, Aaron Sibber, Sado bragged to three people he'd killed Josh, but that was dismissed by detectives. The Commission pointing to a lack of training, failure to follow procedures and poor use of discretion, especially within the elite major crime squad, which handles all the state's big murder cases. It says the message isn't getting through and there's an urgent need for review. This must be disturbing for so many families uh, throughout the state uh, that have been relying on uh, major crime uh, to solve their particular crimes and issues. Nine officers involved in the Warnocky case are under review. One is even facing possible criminal charges. The Commissioner says he'll take the Triple C findings into account. Estelle Lewis, Nine News.